the Lord showed me on Sunday, I think it was Sunday. I I just had to do it. Now, if you got offended, come talk to me and we'll pray for you. You know what? We've got to be serious with the Lord. Either we go all the way or we don't go at all. And if you don't agree with something, that's okay. I, I don't ask you to agree with everything. I just ask you to respect what God is doing. Right? Now, there's something important here before you even think about giving because the Lord says that we need to give in the numbers of seven today. And if you can't, I understand. But for some reason, I don't usually say this. I usually don't say this. But the Lord showed me a numbers of seven. And, and I know I hear different ministers say, but, you know, it took that, to find that cloud, it took seven times to get the rain released. It takes seven times to be perfection. So maybe it's seven dollars, maybe it's seventy-seven dollars, maybe it's seven hundred dollars, maybe it's seven hundred and seventy dollars. Whatever it is, I believe strongly, and if you can't, uh, it's understood, because it's not pre-warned. It's understood. But I'm going to do it because I think the Lord showed me today, if we want that financial breakthrough that is coming, there's a place of obedience that needs to take place to release it. Do I want your money? No. God wants it. This ministry is 100% about God. It's 100% about setting people free. It's not, I don't want your money. God wants it. You have to understand it. Maybe, maybe all you can do is seven cents. I don't really care. Be obedient today what you can do. Maybe you say, well, I don't have the exact change, so I'm going to give a 20 and seven cents just so I'm obedient with the seven. Because there is something about the number seven right now that God spoke to me in the room when I was getting ready. And he says, I said, God, if you want financial breakthrough, how am I supposed to, you told me that there's going to be financial breakthrough, but how is it going to look? Now, most people say, well, great, I'm going to get it. All of a sudden, it's going to be in a mail or a check in the mail or something like that. No, it's not going to happen that way. Get that out of your head right now. This is not that kind of word. The Lord show me if we're obedient today. If we're obedient today. And if you can't do it, I understand you, you, you're going to be blessed. Either way, God knows your heart. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not putting a guilt trip on you. I'm just saying what the Lord showed me. And this word for today is financial freedom. How many of us need that? How many need financial freedom? How many need a deal to go through? Somebody need a job? Somebody needs something. You need some financial freedom. Yes. And if my God is everything, then he's my everything. That means he's not making a mistake. I am. So if, so if God is everything, then I want to see everything he has. And I want to be obedient to his voice. I prepared for this thing very strongly all week. This whole week, I was sitting in the back seat. <laughs> You've got to listen to the message. It's called Taking the Back Seat. I spoke on Wednesday. And so we ha we're sitting in the back seat and saying, God, what do we do and how do we go forward? Because every one of us is ready to move forward in your blessing, your promises, your healings, your miracles. How do we do it? And the Lord showed me a straight word in saying that if you truly want to be set free, is that I don't want you to believe as a magic wand, but I want you to believe as a man of God. Don't believe as a magic wand but believe as a man and a woman of God. And how do we do that? Is this. The Lord says today, if people truly take this miracle today, every one of you can have this miracle today. I want to see a raise of hands if you could use some more money. Okay, two hands up, some of them. That's awesome. I will put my both hands up, plus I put my feet up. <laughs> but the fact is we all need something, right? Because if God is our supplier, what could we do for the kingdom if money was not an issue? Everything. Everything. But then again, what could we do if people weren't in issue? We could do a lot more yet too, right? <laughs> money releases people. And it's not the money that's an issue, it's the people that release the money that's an issue. So we have to understand it's obedience that is an issue. It's a place of God's calling on people's hearts and people believing a lie instead of the truth. And they're not giving into the truth, they're giving into the lie. Or they re receive the lie and don't give at all. Now, this is how you're going to get a, mir uh, uh, a miracle today. Strongly believe this. 100% believe this. I asked God until this last minute, he showed me just before, about an hour before the service, how that would happen. I said, okay, God, you said financial freedom. How does that look? Because I've never seen it drop from heaven yet in my life. How is this supposed to look to for me? How am I supposed to see it? The Lord says that if you are obedient today, and if you want to release this, and in your hearts you might have been obedient already. It's not about that. It's about your heart being obedient. And if you're obedient, God says, I'm going to give you the wisdom to prosper. It's going to be a supernatural wisdom for finances in your life. He says, well, I don't know how I can do that. That's why you're here. God is going to release a miracle of wisdom for finances. 
Meaning that, let's say, if you have a house sale that you're trying to get sold, or just an example, if you're trying to sell something, God's going to give you the wisdom who to talk to and who to deal with so that happens instantly. If you have a car to sell or to prepare, God's going to give you the heart or find somebody that will help you prosper. You're going to get the wisdom for it. If you need a job, God's going to give you the words to speak. When you go to the person, He's going to give you wisdom to get an increase in your finances. Now, this is a better miracle than ever because this is learning how to fish. This is learning how to be successful. But, he says, I will give you that wisdom if you are obedient to me. If you obedient, it's not a harsh word, obedience. Obedience is just, like, we're all children, right? So we all can be obedient. It's not a hard thing to do. We just got to do it. No, it's not just about the seven. It's just about being obedient. But the seven is a word today. And the people that can give in the sevens, I believe something spectacular is supposed to happen to you guys today. And I believe it's going to release, and you're going to say, oh, why didn't I see that before? There's going to be a veil torn before you, and you're going to see how to prosper. For the very first time, maybe in some things, you'll see, and you'll get it. And we will get it as ministries, as businesses, we'll get it. I've been asking God all week, saying, God, there has to, something has to break in people's lives. We got to stop having the negativity that comes our way we got to stop having these things that stop us from going forward in God's kingdom. God, you are everything to me, and I am not stopping until I get everything that you offer to me. And he, his will, his promises are there for you and me. And I can't quit, and I don't want you to quit. I want you to get so radical today and so wild today and ask God and per, not just pretend. Know that God is everything and sing like he's everything, act like he's everything, and start worshiping like he's everything. Because if we just sit there, oh no, this is just, I've I done this once before. Of course you've done it before. Do it again. God wants us to release. No, I'm not just saying this is video, so this is going all over the world here. This is not just condemning. This is a place of saying, I am serious. I want to see miracles because that is a promise of God. And he's not just miracles in finances. God says miracles in healings. He said miracles in everything. We, we just always look on the healing, but we never look in our finances. They, you know what I heard a, a revival say? Whenever he meets the glory of God, financial breakthrough comes. And the, well, in that case, I, want, I haven't seen enough yet because I haven't seen the financial breakthrough yet. What about you? Because in this world today, it's our heart that makes the decision where our treasure is. And until we make that decision where our heart is, that treasure cannot be released in our life. And it has to be released. How many of you are willing to fight for me, like with me, for your life? I'm fighting with you, but fight with us. Let's come in agreement for this great miracle that I so believe that God wants to do. Because I didn't waste my time this week. I know that. And if I did, then that'd be sad. But I don't believe I did. And I believe God has spoken. And God has spoken for freedom. But the fact is, freedom can't come and finances until we join together in finances. Just like we join together in prayer, just like we join together in healing, just like we join together in everything. It's a body sake thing. When we join together, we are going to see it. I'm joining together with you, and I'm not being ashamed to say finances. This ministry is in need, and you are in need. We all are in need. But when we choose to circulate it through God's kingdom, our needs get met, and now because it's a prophetic word, it will be that much more because God says it's time. He's seen you guys cry. He's seen you guys ask. He's seen you guys say, what next? He's seen you guys saying, I don't know how to pay the next bill. He's seen it. And he's calling on me as a leader and saying that I am supposed to represent the miracle of finances to you. Are you willing to receive it? Yes. This is not a television evangelist trying to get your money. Don't get that in your head. But then again, a lot of times when those television evangelists, if they ask for money, if you would give, we'd probably be more blessed than we are. Because we're too busy judging this fact instead of blessing the kingdom. While they're rich, no. <laughs> it takes money to do lots. It takes a lot of money to do lots. And our new goal here is every dollar that is put in, we want to see a soul helped or saved. Every soul we want to see delivered, healed, or saved. Every dollar. Because God is a God of multiplication, so I believe one dollar can do many things. You just think. It would just take about uh, maybe a thousand bucks a week to go on TV. Maybe more, but what about that? But just think, $1,000, it could probably reach about a million people. Just think. So $1 can reach a lot of people if we do it right. If 
you have the right, it can do the right. So praise God for that. What we do is uh, we have a basket here. I have a basket there. And if you're too shy to walk up, we have a bucket back there, a box back there. You can slip it in. But it is part of worship. When I read the Bible, giving was part of the worship. Giving was a part of serving God and saying, God, you are everything to me. I choose to put my treasure in where, you're, where the kingdom is. No, I totally understand because I've been there. I totally understand if you can't do it. I totally understand it. But I would ask if you just ground seven cents and be, but just get the word released. Just get the word in your heart released. Now, I believe it's more, about seven, more than seven cents, but if that's all you can do, God's going to honor the seven that you're going to give today. He's going to honor the seven you give today. Whatever that is, he's going to honor that. I believe strongly there's a breakthrough. And sometimes, you know, just like Jesus said, that, pr- that lady that gave two, t- two talents will give more than anybody else. So if you can only give seven, you probably give more than anybody else can. If you're giving seven cents and that's all you have today to give, you're probably giving more than anybody else today. You have to know that God is looking at your heart and he's looking at your our obedience into this. Are you in agreement with me here? Yeah. Want some amens? Amen. Okay. Like I say, when it comes to money, it's, it's not that I need your money. God needs your money. God can't do, do his kingdom without his money. He, he has to walk in the forward of that place of that, right? It is a place of moving forward in God's kingdom today.